We were told initially that Grant Union High football player Billy Scott Jr. was sitting in a vehicle in North Islands back on May 31st with a couple of his friends when he was shot around 1130 at night. We're told he died just a few hours later from his injuries. Now, we were told by the sheriff's office back then that it was an unknown person who walked up to the vehicle and shot at Scott. And just a couple of days later, they arrested a 17 year old boy. But tonight, the sheriff's office telling me that it was Scott and his friends who were actually trying to sell that suspect a fake gun. The biggest takeaway from this, of course, is we don't want him to have died in vain. A message Sergeant Morgan D in the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office hopes teens and young adults take away after this latest development in Scott's untimely death. Billy Scott. Gandhi telling Fox 40 on Sunday night the 18 year old met up with the suspected shooter to sell the teen a fake gun. Billy and his friends knew it was a fake gun. We don't know if the shooting occurred because of that or it may have just been a robbery to begin with. And the fact that it was a fake gun wasn't even discovered till well afterwards. After he was shot, authorities say Scott drove to Grant Union High and found a Twin Rivers resource officer. Scott later died at the hospital hours before his senior graduation. I was really sick, you know, just seeing family go. You know, that really hurt. He wasn't supposed to die like that, but he did. And it hurts me so bad. The next night, Scott's father, Billy Scott Sr., took the football field just like his son and accepted his graduation diploma for him. I know that's what he wanted so bad. And I was, I was so proud to put on that cap and gown and represent him because that's me. That's all me. That was my son, and I loved him so much. And Gandhi telling me that investigators don't believe at this point Scott and his friends knew the person they were trying to sell that gun to. And he says that just goes to show how accessible and easy it is to sell firearms these days through social media. And at this point, I'm told by Gandhi that there's nothing that Scott doesn't have a record to show up that would indicate he had gone to any of this activity before this incident. Reporting in Sacramento, covering local news that matters. I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.